prepare and diversify with gold and silver with Monex Vice President Mike Maroney, along with managing partner of CPM Group and author of the Monex Precious Metals Market Outlook Report, Jeffrey Christian. Good afternoon. It's Tuesday, October 9th. My name is Mike Maroney. I'm here today with Jeffrey Christian, the Managing Director of the CPM Group. We're doing our Prepare and Diversify with Gold and Silver video. Now, Jeff, we spoke a little bit yesterday, and obviously many investors are watching the precious metals market, and the common theme seems to be, is the market bottoming? And what's your view on that? Our view is that the market is bottoming. It's weaker than we had thought it would be, but it still looks like to us as if it's bottoming. Uh, and we think that the initial response in October may be a little bit more muted than we had thought. Now, if you look at silver for this decade, the low is 1360. And we had a low of 1380 in the spot market just a little while back. The low for this decade in gold is 1045. We saw a low of approximately 1160. So gold has been a little bit stronger. And it's kind of unusual because you would think that the industrials seem to be doing better. A lot of people thought that maybe silver could outperform gold. What do you think about that? You have some very interesting divergent opinions in the markets right now. And what we think is going on is that there are a lot of investors who are looking at the world economy, the U.S. economy, financial markets, the stock markets, and they have a lot of long-term concerns about where the economy is going and where the stock market is going. But they're looking at a relatively strong economy and stock market right now. So we think that what you're seeing this year is weaker industrial commodity prices and relatively stronger gold prices because investors are buying more gold as a financial asset, as a safe haven, and against these longer term economic and political and financial concerns they have, while they also are looking at uh, the more industrially oriented metals and saying, this is probably close to the peak for the economy. And 2019 is probably going to see weaker industrial demand for commodities across the board. So that these things are probably less interesting, but gold as a financial asset, as a quasi-currency, as a safe haven, probably is a more attractive asset. So in essence, silver is somewhat trading as an industrial commodity, not as much a precious metal. But do you feel that silver will regain its stature as a precious metal in the coming uh, months? Absolutely. Uh, you know, one of the things that you're seeing is also the fact that silver has a much smaller market in dollar size than gold. Is always uh, tends to see more volatile prices. But our view is that right now it's being weighed down by its industrial nature. But when you get into 2019 and going forward, Whenever these economic crisis, uh, issues come home to roost, gold prices will rise. And when that happens, we think that silver will surge too and play catch up with gold. I see. Well, obviously, if you prepare and diversify with gold and silver, the trick is to buy low. And based on the current price levels, it looks like now may be a tremendous time to start looking at diversifying with the precious metals.